Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence, O oh God. Yes, God. We thank you, you have been faithful. You have been good to us, O oh God. You have protected us, O oh God, at this moment, O oh God. Yes, Lord. When there is calamity outside, O oh God, you have been God at all times, O oh God. Yes, we speak a blessing upon everyone yes, who is giving an offering in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. even the tithes and offerings, O oh God. Lord. You said that we shall be blessed in the city, blessed in our going in our coming out, O oh God. Put a difference in the name of Jesus. Protect your people in the name of Jesus. We break every agenda of the devil, of the finances of the people of God in Jesus' name. All unfaithfulness, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Every spirit sent to rob the finances of the saints of God, we cancel that in the name of Jesus. We cover their finances, their blessings, their families, their health with the blood of Jesus. You are God alone. There is none like you, O oh God. Bariki waktu wako, iwa inue bwana. Watangulie katika kila hali. Na kila siku onekana maisha ni mwao. Katika jina la Yesu. Washike mkono. Wape ushindi. O jimu maombi yao katika jina la Yesu. Bwana onekana. Bwana onekana katika jina la Yesu. Inya katiza mwisho. Shika kila mmoja. Katika jina la Yesu. Kristo tumaomba na kwa mini. Amen. Amen. Ni wakati wa kulisikia neno it is time we are going to hear the word of the lord i want us to stand nataka wote tusimame ni wakati ukana kulisikia neno la bwana napenda niwakaribishe ninaomba sote tusimame kwa sababu ya muda ninakuwa mwangalifu sana na muda inabidi tuweze kushikana na muda Tapenda kumkaribisha Pastor Nunu madabahuni kwa ajili ya neno. Wakati anakuja naomba tufunike macho tupate kuomba. Let's pray as our speaker comes. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunajiandaa kulisikia neno lako asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu wetu mwema, ninaniombea kila sikio katika jina la Yesu. Kila sikio kwa jina la Yesu. Kila sikio kwa jina la Yesu. Kila sikio kwa jina la Yesu. Kila sikio nikalisikia neno lako leo katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu kila sikio nikalisikia neno lako leo mbariki mtumishi wako mtumie mtumishi wako shema nasi leo bwana kwa utukufu wako ni katika jina la Yesu ninazimisha mapepo nazimisha mapepo hata ya corona every demon that carries out coronavirus in the name of Jesus i shut down by fire by thunder by the blood of Jesus katika jina la Yesu every coronavirus in the name of Jesus hear the word of the Lord you have no place in this place you have no place in this place I burn you down in the name of Jesus by the blood and by the fire kwa jina la Yesu mwana corona kwa jina la Yesu na kuchoma kwa jina la Yesu na kuchoma na kuteketeza kwa jina la Yesu kila taka ingi hapa hata kinya na corona afe kwa jina la Yesu corona afe kwa jina la Yesu hata mtio yote akingi hapa na corona huya corona huya ugonjo wa corona virus ya corona ife kwa jina la Yesu sema kufa sema kufa sema kufa say die say die say die louder die come on die shout die say corona say corona die in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus say die say die Father we thank you now katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakupigia makofi na vigelegele makofi na vigelegele kwa Yesu haleluya you may be seated in order to come na mesa kuka Hallelujah, people of God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. God bless you. It's good to see every one of you. One o'clock will be going out of this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You know, I want anybody to cure us. We are Amen. I think that. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. Yes, God. Glory. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. I thank God for the men of this house, Pastor Dennis. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity that you have given me to stand Glory before to the people of God. Hallelujah. 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 Moyo wako uliko ndiko azina yako iliko. Kwa hiyo Mungu anasema kwamba wewe ni azina yake. Kwa hiyo moyo wa Mungu uko na kuangalia wewe 24/7. Hallelujah. 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 Lakini asubuhi ya leo nimepata somo linasema kwamba is your heart right with God? Moyo wako je moyo wako uko sawa mbele za Mungu? Do you know the condition of your heart? Wewe mwenyewe kwanza unajua the condition of your heart. Do you know the condition of your heart? Kwa sababu Mungu akidil na mwanadamu huwa anadil na moyo. Anasema ya kwamba ninyi mnatazama nje, lakini mimi Mungu natazama ndani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is going to bless you today. Hata kwenda kukubariki asubuhi ya leo. Hata kwenda kubadilisha mtazamo wako. He's going to change how you think about him. Hallelujah. I have another sermon. I'm going to say don't change the image of God. But that is not for today. Don't change the image of God. Kwa nini nasema usibadilishe image ya Mungu? Kwa sababu wanadamu wanakupa image ya Mungu kutokana na kuelewa kwao. Ninakupa the understanding of God kutokana na vile ambavyo mimi namuelewa Bwana. Hallelujah. But when you read the word of God, unapata good image of God. Lakini somo langu la leo linasema hivi. Is your heart right with God? Do you know the condition of your heart? Moyo ni kichaka cha uovu. Moyo ni kichaka cha uovu. Biblia inasema ndani ya moyo ndo kuna tokaga mambo. Akamwambia Cain dhambi iko inagonga mlangoni mwako. Unapashwa kuishinda. Mungu alikuwa anaongea na moyo wake. Hata kama alisema kwani mimi ni mlinzi wa ndugu yangu, lakini Mungu alikuwa anaongea na moyo wake. Asubuhi ya leo Bwana nakuuliza moyo wako wewe ukoje mbele za Mungu? Kwa sababu out of our heart zinatoka issues mbalimbali. Chuki inatoka kwenye moyo. Ubaya unatoka kwenye moyo. Alafu kitu cha ajabu ni kwamba moyo hauonekani. Lakini utakuta tunasema kwamba huyu ana roho mbaya. Tumjuaje? Kwa sababu out of your heart ndipo tutaona matendo yako. Na moyo wako ni vigumu sana sisi kujua moyo kitu kinachoendelea moyoni. Lakini kuna kitu kimoja tu ambacho kina expose vitu vya moyoni mwako. Na chenyewe ni mdomo. Mdomo wako una expose. Unasema vile vitu ambavyo viko ndani ya moyo wako. Kwa maana hiyo moyo hakuna uwezo kujua isipokuwa Mungu peke yake. Lakini mdomo wako
wako. Aya ya 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 ya. Ndio mwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hili somo ni somo ambalo na mimi mwenyewe nimeni operate, nimefanyia operation. Kwa hiyo unapokuwa unasikiliza hili somo, unjue pampasta Nunu naye ametoka kufanyiwa surgery na Mungu. Masaa machache aliyopita. Nimetoka kwenye chumba cha surgery. Sio kama nakwambia kwamba mimi ni mkamilifu, lakini na mimi nilishughulikiwa siku kadhaa. Ndio maana leo nakuletea. Nakwambia do you know the condition of your heart? Kwa maana few days ago, Bwana alikuwa ananiuliza mimi, Nunu do you know the condition of your heart? Kwa sababu usipojua the condition of your heart. Utasema wengine wana romba haya, kumbe wewe ndio unaromba haya. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu out of your heart. Hey, out of your heart. Zinatoka vitu mbalimbali. Ndani ya moyo natoka wivu. Ndani ya moyo natoka ubaya. Ndani ya moyo mtoto anamchukia mama yake. Ndani ya moyo, ndani ya moyo. Ndani ya moyo kuna mambo makubwa. Moyo ni kichaka cha uovu. Moyo ni kichaka cha uovu. Nimeokoka lakini nakuchukia. Nimeokoka lakini sikupendi. Kwa nini nimeokoka lakini tabia za moyo, tabia zile mbaya zinaendelea? Ndipo hapo roho Bwana nasema ya kwamba nahitaji kukupa moyo mpya kwa maana moyo wa zamani hauwezi kuniogopa moyo wa zamani hauwezi kunifuata moyo wa zamani hauwezi kutembea na mimi moyo wa zamani nikiwaambia ufanye hivi unakataa lakini nikikupatia moyo mpya huo moyo mpya unaweza kukooperate na mimi huo moyo mpya utakuwa uta, utafanya uyafanye mapenzi ya Mungu kama leo tuna struggle kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu Samuel moyo wa zamani ulianza kufanya kazi. Kwa hiyo moyo wa zamani ulipoanza kufanya kazi unauzibisha huu moyo mpya. Haina maana kama ukupewa moyo mpya. Inawezekana ulipewa moyo mpya, lakini katika process ya kupewa moyo mpya ukakaa na moyo mpya, halafu vitu mbalimbali vikaanza. Kwa hiyo sasa tutakwenda kujifunza kuhusu moyo wa kawaida unafanyaje kazi. Hallelujah. Moyo wa kawaida una vitu hauvitaki. Moyo wa kawaida huwa hautaki pombe. Kwa sababu pombe ina jinsi ambavyo inakuvuruga, halafu inakwenda kwenye mapigo ya moyo, inabadilisha mapigo ya moyo. Kwa hiyo hata kama we ni mzima, ukinywa pombe kuna vitu vinatokea. Halafu moyo huo huo huwa haupatani na watu wasiofanya mazoezi. Kwa maana usifanye mazoezi ya mwili, kuna kipindi kikifika, moyo unaanza kuleta shida. Halafu moyo huo huo una matatizo mbalimbali. Hallelujah sambali. Ili niweze kukuelezea roho yako wewe katika ulimwengu wa roho, lazima nianze katika ulimwengu wa mwili. Uelewe kwanza mwili unafanyaje kazi na moyo unafanyaje kazi. Tuna daktari hapa ambaye hajakamilika udaktari wake bado yuko shuleni. Kwa hiyo nitakuomba Dore kavae joho kwanza. Haleluya. Na mimi nilipletee joho la pili. Give me another job. Yoroba. Unajua tunapokuwa tunashughulika na moyo, tunapokuwa tunashughulika na ubongo. Daktari anayeshughulika moyo na ubongo wanapokuwa wanakufanyia operation, huwa watumii mouth wash ya kawaida. Wanatumia mouth wash special ambayo anaweza kakaa masaa nane Mdomo haunuki wala virus yatoki mdomoni. Kwa sababu hatakiwi akiwa anapumua anakufanyia surgery, a germ atoke kwenye mdomo wake, ikuingie kwenye brain au ikiingia kwenye moyo. Hallelujah. It's so amazing kwamba the devil anagombania moyo wako. Shetani anaugombania moyo. Na Mungu naye anasema give me your heart. Na mume naye anataka kukaa pale pale. Na mpenzi naye anataka kukaa pale pale. Na watoto nao anataka kukaa pale pale. Mama yako mzazi anakaa pale pale. Sasa utaugawanyaje huu moyo ili umpende Mungu at the same time? Na hapo hapo umpende mume wako. Na hapo hapo uwapende watu wa kanisani. Utafanyaje ili wawe priority na hapo hapo uende kazini na ukienda kazini ukirudi uweze kuugawa moyo wako na Mungu haleluya somebody god is going to give you a new heart today god is going to give you a new heart a heart ambao moyo ambao akikuomba haleluya akikwambia mka uombe unamka kuomba Hallelujah. Don't worry. You don't have to put the whole thing. Just hang, let, let it hang. Hallelujah. One o'clock will be out of here. Glory to God. We have to be a people of our words. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anafunika shangaa kuna andiko moja ni nasema kwa mba eti mungu 
atufanyie saka msaizi ya mioyo yetu nilisikizeni kwa makini don't worry about dory biblia inasema kwamba mungu anapaswa kukufanyia kukutahiri moyo wako tunajua kama watoto wa kiume ndio huwa wanatahiriwa kwenye the book of deuteronomy biblia inasema kwamba bwana anahitaji kutahiri moyo wako Mhm. Akitahiri moyo wako kuna kitu anakitoa. Hasa kuna maumivu unasikia. Haleluya. Alafu ukienda kwenye the book of joy. Let's go to the book of joy. Haleluya. Ah, God is going to bless you today. Amen. Haleluya. The book of joy 2:13. The book of joy have have a seat just with me right there. The book of joy Joel 2:13 Hallelujah Hallelujah Kama kuna yeyote amepata can you read for me Amen. The book of Joel I'll read in the name of Jesus And rend your heart and not your garments uh -huh. Return to the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and he relents over disaster Amen Can you read this Swahili version right here Rarueni mioyo yenu wala si mavazi yenu mkamrudie Bwana Mungu wenu kwa maana yeye ndiye mwenye neema amejaa huruma si mwepesi wa hasira ni mwingi wa rehema naye ugairi mabaya Do you see this the first word Anasemaje sio toa Chana <laughs> Anasema rarua toa tu anasema rarueni milioni mioyo yenu wala si mavazi yenu alafu anasema nini mkamrudie bwana mungu wenu kurarua jamani sio kitu chepesi chepesi nisikilizeni nipeni tu 20 minutes kurarua kitu hakuna kusema baby i'm going to rarua uh -uh. Anejua kurarua ni simba. Simba anajua fa nini? Hajali unaumia au huumi. Haleluya. Twende kwenye process ya kufanyiwa. Do you want to put a table? Do you want a table? Yeah, you can put a table if you want. Okay. I will appreciate. Yes, thank you. We want to go to the operation room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you Lord. Daktari akiwa anakwenda kwenye chumba cha operation anabadilisha mavazi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mtaani anavaa nguo za kawaida. Lakini akija kwenye operation room anabadilisha mavazi yake. Mchungaji akiwa mtaani anavaa mavazi kama nyinyi. Lakini akija kwenye madhabahu sio kama wewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the most high God. Yes. You cannot know wa mtaani lakini uwezi kumtisan Glory to the most high God. Yes, God. Kwa hiyo daktari amevaa nini? Amevaa joho. Aya ya 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 ya. Amevaa joho la kidaktari. Mgonjwa aliyebadilishiwa moyo, anayefanywa operation ya moyo, na yeye havai mavazi kama ya nyumbani. Na yeye anabadilishwa mavazi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alafu analazwa lala. Uh, lay down baby. Hallelujah. Anyway, hallelujah glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yes God, yes God, yes God. Hallelujah. Yes, put your head down. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Na yeye ambaye anakwenda kufanywa surgery ya moyo. Na yeye anabadilishwa mavazi. Ndio kusema kwamba unampa Yesu maisha yako. Tayari unakuwa umeshabadilisha status. Umempa Yesu maisha yako amekutakasa kwa damu yake. Lakini ashakutakasa kutakuwa takiwa kuwa na process. Kuna process inabidi upitie na uwezi kuipinga hiyo process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na namlaza mgonjwa. Akishamlaza mgonjwa, analeta dawa ya kufanya mgonjwa alale. Unapokuwa ume 
unaokoka ukampokea Yesu kama Bwana na mwokozi wako. Mm. Thank you Jesus. You guys pray for me. This was very powerful. Hallelujah. By the way, today is my 42 day of fasting with water. Hallelujah. Lakini bado nasikia nguvu. Glory to the most high God. Nilipokuwa namtafuta Bwana, Bwana aliniambia, I want to do a surgery to my people. Watu wangu wanaumwa. Watu wangu wanaogopa. Kwa sababu mioyo ya zamani imerudi. Lakini Bwana anataka kufanyia surgery asubuhi ya leo. Usiakumbuke ya zamani. Bali kuanzia leo tano wa leo. Angalia jinsi Bwana anataka kukufanyia surgery wewe mwenyewe. Glory to God. Huyu aliingia na shida ya moyo. Haleluya. Kwa hiyo daktari anachofanya anamwekea anamwangalia kwanza kama mwili wake unaendana na kila kitu. Baadaye anaweza kaamua kumwekea drip kama anajikuta hana liquid kwenye mwili wake. Lakini baada ya hapo anamchoma sindano ili afanye nini? Ili alale. Anamchoma sindano ili afanye nini? Ili anapokuwa kwenye ile procedure yule mgonjwa anapokuwa anafanyia operation mama shukuru. Yule mgonjwa sio anakatala. Asasa ah ah ah. Operation upasu. Anapokuwa anamfanyia upasuaji. Ili mgonjwa si akafa nini? Akawa na goma goma. Kwa sababu mgonjwa hajui kiasi gani anaumwa. Ila daktari ndo anajua huyu mgonjwa anaumwa kiasi gani. Na huyu mgonjwa atakufa baada ya muda gani? Kwa hiyo lazima nimfanyie a quick surgery. Kwa hiyo kinachotokea ni kwamba na kama ni ni surgery ya kubadilisha moyo, ya kutoa moyo na kuweka moyo mwingine. Biblia inatumia my god the bible wasomi wanasema hivi kuna kuaga na mashine wanaiweka hapa wanapokuwa wanatoa moyo wako wa zamani hawaukati kabisa wanakuwa wanakaunganisha na kitu eh? pacemaker ili waweze kufanya ile changing ya moyo mpya na wa zamani hawakuachi tu wewe ukishatoa moyo unakuacha unahenga hapana wanakuchomeka kwenye mashine ili moyo wako uendelee kufanya nini uendelee kufanya kazi sio ukakata roho unapokuwa umeokoka kuna process inabidi uipitie na hiyo process inasema to die to yourself inasema tufanye nini inasema to die to yourself ukiruka hiyo na hiyo process hauwezi kuendelea vizuri na wokovu kwa hiyo bwana anapokuwa anakufanyia operation katika ulimwengu wa roho anachofanya anasema and i will give you a new heart and i will put you a new heart and if i put that heart and i'll put my spirit in it wakati wanajua ya kwamba moyo ni organ ya muhimu sana kwenye mwili wako moyo ukiacha kufanya kazi organ zingine zina stop kufanya kazi brain ina stop kufanya kazi kwa hiyo moyo ni center ndio kiini cha maisha yako. Kwa hiyo ukipata serious shida ya moyo, hawataki utembee. Wanasema mwekeni kwenye wheelchair transkuma. Kwa sababu moyo wako utaanza kufanya kazi bila upashi kufanya kazi. Kwa hiyo akishakulaza sasa hapa. Hallelujah. Bwana wa mabwana. Anaanza daktari wa kawaida anaanza kufanya operation. Huyu mgonjwa hawezi kujua kitu gani kinaendelea daktari wa kawaida akiwa anakufanyia operation huyu mgonjwa hawezi kwende kujua kitu gani kinaendelea lakini operation inafanyika na operation ikifanyika wanamsubiri ya mke haleluya haleluya glory to god bwana akiwa anakufanyia operation kuna jinsi anakufundisha maneno mazito Unajua Ukristo una shida mamangu mama shukuru kwa sababu Ukristo unapoteza miiko. Sisi makabila yetu I think Afrika nzima tunakuwa na miiko. Mtoto anajua kwamba wewe huruhusiwi kulala na kaka yako utakuwa na wazimu. Kabisa. <laughs> Mtu anajua huruhusiwi kulala na mnyama utapata laana. Biblia ina miiko yake. Na kwenye Ukristo Mungu ana miiko yake. Miiko ya kimungu sangine huwa haifuati kama miiko ya kikabila. Kwa sababu tunaamini miiko, tunaamini miungu, tunaamini mizimu kwamba nisipofanya hivi hiki kitatokea. Mm. Lakini Mungu anapokupa moyo moyo mpya
mpya. Huyu kule moyo mpya kuna vitu vinaambatana navyo. Ukivianja vile vitu vya moyo mpya. Unarudi kwenye moyo wa zamani. Kwa hiyo huyu baada ya kufanywa surgery akiamka Anaambiwa hivi sasa kuanzia leo usikimbie sana 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 ukitaka kufanya mazoezi tembea kwa sababu tumekuwekea pacemaker haleluya kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo vinaendana na huo moyo mpya uliopewa ukivunja ule utaratibu uliopewa unajiletea matatizo twende kwenye maandiko sasa i want you to come here so you can read for me to write thank you haleluya asante yesu wangapi mpaka hapo wamelielewa neno haleluya haleluya glory to jesus Glory to God. To Psalm Jeremiah 24 verse 7. Jeremiah 24 verse 7. Hallelujah. Alafu nitakupa vitu ambavyo vinaharibu moyo wa kawaida. And then I will go to the your spiritual heart. Jeremiah 24 mstari wa 7. Grace, can you read? Can read. Both English and Swahili. You have a pastor you can read. You have a microphone that's okay. <laughs> Nami nitawapa moyo wanijue ya kuwa mimi ni Bwana nao watakuwa watu wangu nami nitakuwa Mungu wao. Kwa maana watanirudia kwa moyo wao wote. Usipokuwa na moyo wa Mungu huwezi kumrudia kwa moyo wako wote. Alafu anasema kwamba mtajua ya kwamba mimi ni Mungu wenu baada ya kuwapa moyo mpya. Kwa maana hiyo kuna mambo ya Mungu yanaweza kaendelea kama una moyo mpya unaona ni kawaida. Come on. I'm telling you, unaona ni kawaida. Kumbe Mungu anafanya mambo mazito. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Ukristo utakatifu kwa watu wanje ujinga. Jesus. Lakini kwetu sisi ni ukombozi. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wawili walipigiliwa msalabani na Yesu. Mmoja alisema kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu si ungejiokoa basi na si ukatuokoa. Moyo. Uh, moyo mwana. My God. Yule mwingine akasema wewe usiseme hivyo wewe. Ah kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu naomba unikumbuke. Jesus. Yesu akamwangalia akasema jioni ya leo mwanangu tutakuwa pamoja. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Tutawala katika ulimwengu wa roho. Kristo tunagombana ni kwa sababu ya mioyo tunakwambia. Come on. Kwa sababu ya mioyo kata basaya. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes God. Tusome mstari wa pili. Ezekiel 36 mstari wa 26. Ezekiel 36:26. Hallelujah. Mhm. Mm Ezekiel 26 uh -huh. 36 Yes No the other way 36 26, 26. Yes. yes Yes God Nami nitawapa ninyi moyo mpya Nami nitatoa roho mpya ndani yenu Nami nitatoa moyo wa jiwe uliomo ndani ya mwili wenu okay nami nitawapa ninyi moyo mpya nami nitatia nitatia yes narudia tena yes nami nitawapa ninyi moyo mpya mm -hmm. nami nitatia roho mpya ndani yenu nami nitatoa moyo wa jiwe uliomo ndani ya mili yenu nami nitawapa moyo wa nyama Bwana akishakufanyia operation akakupa moyo mpya. Ule moyo unasaidiwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Kuna pati moja ambayo Dorit kuifanya na Doreen. Kama huyu mtu anayefanyia operation asipopewa dawa ya kaputi, hawataweza kutoa moyo wake. 
Manake wakimkata anafanya ah anasumbua. Ndio. Unajua when you are saved for real. Alafu kapewa roho mtakatifu. Bwana akianza kusifanya mambo. Mchungaji akisimama akianza kusema vitu. Unaanza kufanywa operation. Hauwezi kusema mchungaji unanisema mimi. Ukisikia mchungaji anasema mimi roho hayupo hapo. Ile ganzi haijafanya kazi. Ganzi ya roho mtakatifu ikifanya vizuri. Unapiga magoti unasema jamani masaa 24 Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Luka Moyo wako uliko ndiko hazina yako iliko Watu wanakutambua wewe kama nani Hallelujah I'm not talking about people who wanakusema wale wao haikukukaribia Mimi si angaiki na watu wanakusema Mimi naangaika na mtu ambaye ulikana mimi ukanifahamu unajua vyangu ukigeuka shauri yako lakini i show you the side of god tena inawezekana hata the side of god i showed you you never ukuijua mwanzoni through me you knew christ hallelujah na sijivuni kwa sababu nalizaliwa kwa hiyo hallelujah somebody ninaongea watu wanajua nini kuhusu wewe unapokuwa peke yako watu wanajua nini unapotembea watu wanajua nini aliye karibu yako wanajua nini mume wako wanajua nini watoto wako wanajua nini watoto wako wanajua nini ambacho ukienda mbele za watu lazima umwambie watoto ukisema nitakujishapa wewe haleluya maisha ya wengi tuko hivyo unaogopa watoto wako wasiulize ulize maswali maana kwa vitatoka vitu ambavyo unataka vitoke lakini nawaambieni tumuombeni Mungu moyo safi haleluya dorin aliwahi kuniambia kitu kimoja aliniambia mama kama ningekuwa sina wazazi kama ninyi ningekuwa na hali mbaya sana sasa hizi nikamwambia wae akasema mama every time na waza niwe kama wengine na kuona wewe kwenye ile kona unasema Mungu wasaidie watoto wangu baba ni hurumia watoto wangu walinde na mabaya wape neema ya kufanya right decisions anasema mama every time i remember the way you cry before god Nasema not me not me not me not me not me Jesus I will not do that by the help of the Holy Ghost Donis Junior akiwa mdogo aliye kuulizwa shuleni mama yako wewe na baba yako kitu gani kizuri wanakifanya akasema mamangu mimi wanaomba tu anajeki na wakati alafu na baba yako anasema most of the time babangu mimi anakuwa na gitaa tu anapigapiga gitaa hallelujah watoto wako wanaweza nini kuhusu wewe na una invest nini ndani ya watoto wako tunategemea wachungaji watawaombea lakini wewe binafsi unawachaza nini watoto wako Mungu wangu wewe kwa sababu shetani anasubiri wakati wewe upo watoto wakiwa wenyewe ndio anaanza sasa uchawi wake na ulozi kuanza kumwambia mtoto nenda kushoto na unatakiwa kwenda kulia Hallelujah unawachaza nini watoto unawachaza nini watoto umewafundisha watoto kufunga na kuomba unaweza usikose kwenye sherehe za kitamaduni unaweza usikose kwenye harusi unaweza usikose kwenye msiba <laughs> kwa sababu hivyo vitu unavitegemea siku kiumwa na wao watakuja kukusaidia <laughs> haleluya somebody haleluya <laughs> naenda kwenye harusi ya mwingine kile mtoto wangu akiolewa kwangu asiye wakacha kuja <laughs> naenda kwenye msiba ili wanikifa <laughs> wasije kunizika <laughs> lakini bibilia yangu inasema kwamba waje kunizika wasije kunizika 
kunizika kama nalipa bwana maisha yangu malaika wanapokea roho yangu wanasema good good malaika i could work a seven of god ora raba na raba sika na yosha eh na na mando na boko saya ila na mando na boko la mazanda likando na bora manda na saya mungu atakufanyia hapa moyo mpya Usikubali kuja kanisani na moyo wa zamani utamsumbua mchungaji. Utafanya vitu kwa ajili ya mchungaji. Usikubali. Ukienda nyumbani muombe Mungu moyo mpya. Haleluya. Quickly Dodori atakwenda kusoma matatizo yanayoweza kusababisha You can go lay down there dear. Can, can you do it by yourself? On the table, yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Moyo unaweza kuwa na conditions mbalimbali. Moyo unaweza ukawa uko great. Moyo unaweza ukawa wise. Moyo wako unaweza kuwa faithful. Moro, moyo wako Hallelujah. Unaweza kuwa pure. Give me a pure heart. Bless those who have a pure heart. Why you need a pure heart? Because you will see God. Sio kwamba tu utamwona Mungu ukifa. Utaanza kumwona Mungu hapa hapa duniani. Kwa hiyo nataka tusome vitu vinavyoweza kusababisha Hallelujah somebody. Glory to God. Vitu vinavyoweza kusababisha moyo wako ukapata shida. Moyo wa kawaida sasa. Glory to Jesus. Yes, thank you Father. We're going to talk about the physical heart. Dory is going to read for you, okay? The physical heart is located approximately in the center of a man's breast. Every physical heart is approximately the size of its owner's clenched fist. The blood in a physical heart is composed of different nutrients contained in the food consumed by its owner. The pumping system of a physical heart is based on a reception release method. Blood is received through one part of the heart and other blood is re released through another part of the heart. Moyo wako unakuwa mzima kutokana na chakula unachokula. Hallelujah. Hayo moyo wako your spiritual heart inatokana unajilisha nini vya kimungu? kufanya moyo wako uweze kuendelea kufanya kazi sawa sawa amen tuangalie vitu gani ukila una disturb a natural heart the heart qualifications of leadership the healthy physical heart beats automatically without the conscious effort of its owner The physical moyo wako unadunda bila wewe kufanya effort yoyote. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo Mungu akikupa moyo 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 wake kuna vitu vya kimungu unafanya automatic. Mm. Yaani mtu hahitaji kukuconvince. Moyo ulio nao wa kimungu unasema this is not the right way it's this. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo usikudanganye mtu Alafu nitakwambia moyo wako uko connected sana na mawazo yako na na unapofanya unapo, unapo, maamuzi yako. Amen. Continue to read. The physical heart is more prone to some forms of heart disease and attack on a high fat diet in an overweight body. Ukiwa ni mtu ambaye una kilo nyingi sana kwenye mwili wako ina ina disturb mapigo ya moyo wako. The physical heart is more prone to disease and attack in a body that consumes alcoholic beverages. 
The physical heart is more prone to disease and attack in a body that gets little exercise. The physical heart will be more prone to disease and attack the more tension and stress its owner experiences. The physical heart is more prone to disease and attack the more heart, de the more heart defects its owner inherited from its parents at birth. Hallelujah. Tunaona shida nyingine unaweza kwa ukapata shida ya moyo ukiwa umezaliwa vibaya. Si unajua unaweza kuokoka vibaya? Pale unapompa tu maisha yako wakakusarau tu watu wasiomjua Mungu vizuri. Kwa hiyo wewe unatembea unajua huu ndio uokovu, kumbe contamination iko nyingi sana. Alafu Mungu akikupeleka kwenye kona akakwambia sasa unahitaji kukutakasa. Unaanza kusema not now. Mbona wale wengine wako kama vile? Alafu Mungu anakwambia hula ukua uokovu. Ile ilikuwa ni company. Walikuwa wanakuja kanisani kupiga story. Na kuangalia nani amevaa nini. <laughs> Na nani anaendesha gari gani? Acha kabisa mwanangu. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo mmoja unapoondoka, mioyo inayofanana inafuata. Kwa sababu sisi ni wazinzi bwana. Sisi ni waovu bwana. Sisi ni wambea Tumeamua kukumaliza na kukuua. Shida sio wewe, shida ni moyo wako wewe. Hakuwahi kuokoka. Kwa sababu moyo unaomjua Mungu na mwogopa Mungu. Kwa sababu moyo unaojua Mungu unaambiwa usiguse pale. Kugusa kile ni mwiko. <laughs> unajua mwiko wewe. <laughs> Sisi wanyakirusa tuna miiko. <laughs> Wanakuambia tu don't do that. <laughs> Kwenye ule mti usiende. Nenda sasa. <laughs> Few days ago nilisikia Tanzania issue moja hatari sana. Mama mmoja alipeleka kesi kwa wamama kadhaa. Akawaambia nimepata shida moja kubwa sana na mimi nimeokoka. Shida hii niliyopata ni kwamba katika huo wakati wa corona nina watoto watatu, mume wangu alifariki. Mtoto wangu wa kwanza na miaka 17, wa pili na miaka 15, wa tatu na miaka 13. Sasa Nilikuwa nikienda kazini. Kumbe nilipokuwa nienda kazini I don't know what happened. Lakini siku moja nimerudi nyumbani nikamwona mtoto wangu wa kike hayuko vizuri. Na ninajua ndani ya nyumba nawaacha watoto watatu na wote ni wangu. Kwa hiyo nikachukua yule mmoja nikaamua nimpime mimba. Nikamkuta mtoto wangu wa kike wa miaka 15 ana ujauzito. Alafu nilipomweka chini niliporudi nikamwambia mwanangu nilikuwa unamuingiza nani ndani ya nyumba. Azim Maria kwa anatufanyia hivyo ni kaka. Kaka ndio alikuwa anatufanyia hivyo. Kwa hiyo kaka ndio amenipa mimba. Mama yake akamwambia unasemaje? Akasema kaka. Yule mama akakumbuka kwa mama mtoto wake wa miaka 13 ameshavunja ungo. Akasema wewe mtoto wangu wa miaka 13 ndio kwanza. Akasema umewahi kufanywa kichochote na kakako. Akasema ndio. Mama akachukua kwenda kumpima mtoto wake wa miaka 13. Kumpima mimba. Akakuta watoto wake wote wawili wana mimba. Utaniambia kwamba ulimweka mtoto. Jamani, twende mbele tuli nyuma. Huyo mtoto anajua miiko gani? Sio miiko ya Biblia wala sio miiko ya jamii. Jesus. Sio mnanisikia? Na hiyo ni Tanzania. Yule mama akachanganyikiwa. Alafu yule mtoto wa kiume alipoitwa na mama yake kuambiwa Yule mama ana, alikuwa anasema kama nataka collapse. Why did you do this? Akakimbia. Akafa nini? Unajua inakwambia nini? Alijua alikuwa anakijua alichokuwa anakifanya. Kwa nini hakufikiri kama ule ni mwiko? Kwa sababu sisi wa Kristo tuna tendency ya kuwa kila kitu ni free. Nenda kwa Waislamu. Uwe Muislamu. Halafu kisha kuwa Muislamu, ingia msikitini, ukitoka iba viatu. Ukitoka iba nini? Utakuwa mwenda wazimu. Ukiingia msikitini, fungua pochi ya mtu iba hela. Ukitoka utakuwa nini? Mwenda wazimu. Unajua kwa nini Ukristo tunauchezea? Kwa sababu kila mtu anajua Biblia na kuitafsiri. Haya ya 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 ya. Haya ya ya. Hatari sana nakwambia. Nasema nini? Hatari sana. Preach. Mhm. Huu mwaka mwisho wa mwaka mtaona mambo ya ajabu sana. Mwisho wa mwaka Mwisho wa mwaka mtaona mambo mengi ya ajabu sana. Hallelujah. 
Kwa nini? Kwa sababu watu wa Mungu hatuna miiko. Tuna act kwamba Ukristo can live the anyway. Alafu kesho kaja kwa Mungu. Una act kwamba kama Mungu hakukupa moyo mpya. Tunalinda sheria za dunia hii kuliko sheria za kimungu. Ndio maana makanisani tunaumizana na wala hatujali kama tunaumizana. Kuna watu wana maumivu kama watu wa kanisani. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu hatu entertain moyo ambao Mungu ametupa. Alafu ikiwa ni hatari, ikiwa pale ambapo hatuoni. Yule ambaye alikuwa anasema ana moyo mbaya, ana roho mbaya. Akifanya uasi leo. Watu wanaomfuata mpaka unashangaa. Jesus. Sijui mnanielewa? Tunampenda Mungu lakini hatupendi vya Mungu. Labda niseme vizuri. Tunampenda Mungu kwa sababu kuna vitu tunataka kwa Mungu. Kumpenda Mungu ni kumchukia shetani. If you love God and you don't hate the devil, you will embrace the things of the devil. Na baada ya kuembrace the things of the devil, unajua kitakachokuwa kinakosekana. Hauwezi ku discern. Hauwezi kukuwa na kutambua. Keep it right, keep it wrong. Na once you do keep it right, keep it wrong, wewe lazima uchukuliwe na matitude. Kwa sababu Mungu mara nyingi hayuko kwenye matitude. Anajitosheleza. Ana create things out of nothing. Ndio character yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukijiangalia moyo wako una hali gani? Je, umeurudia moyo wa zamani bila wewe kujua? Kwa hiyo vitu ambavyo unatakiwa ku kwa kutumia moyo mpya haviwezi kuwa discerned anymore. Kwa hiyo you try your best. Hata ukirudi moyo wa zamani unakudirect kwenye old ways. Kwa sababu wenyewe hao hauwezi ku cooperate na Mungu kabisa. Hallelujah. Na kila wakati mtu aliyefanywa pacemaker lazima kila baada ya miaka fulani fulani arudi pacemaker iweze kukubadilishwa. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's one o'clock we can stand we can stand hallelujah Sijamaliza somo langu lakini God is good Nilikuwa promise kwamba 1 o'clock tutafunga ibada Amen Amen Hallelujah Hallelujah Ezekiel 11:19 inasema and I will give you them one heart and put a new spirit within them and I will take the heart of stone out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh Psalms 51:10 and I say create in me a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within me kwa maana nyingine ninaweza nikawa na wrong spirit within me without me knowing come on yes Ezekiel 36:25 to 27 then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you shall be clean I will do what I will sprinkle a clean water on you and you shall be clean i will clean you from all of your filthiness and from all of your idols i will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you i will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart mm -hmm. Jeremiah 17:9 Anasema the heart is deceitful above all things. Moyo ni mdanganyifu kuliko vitu vyote. Ah tena ni wicked. Deuteronomy 5:29 Anasema oh that they have such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep all my commandments. That shows me when you don't have a new heart you won't be able to walk in the ways of God. You won't be able to walk in the statutes of God. You won't be able to take in the things of God. Do you know vitu vya Kimungu hata kama vinauma lazima uvichukue. Kwa sababu siku moja mtakutana naye. The other day nilikuwa namwambia one of my kids. Nilikuwa namwambia mtoto wangu mmoja. Nikamwambia, "We Tunapokuwa tunafanya ibada pay attention. Sasa eh? Nikaambia kwa sababu kuna siku moja utaingia sehemu mama hawezi kuja. Unaisikia? <laughs> kuna siku moja ukiwekwa jela 
hakuja kukutolea rehani. <laughs> Lakini kuna siku moja mwanangu utajikuta umeingia kisemu kigeuka hivi. Hakuna mama. mama Hakuna baba. Niko peke yangu. Na huyu aliye mbele yangu ni nani? Ah, ni mfano wa mwana kondoo. Nafikiri huyu ndo baba na mama walikuwa wananiambia siku moja nikifa nitakutana naye. Lakini nilikuwa sina utaratibu wa kuongea naye. Hapo baba na mama hawezi kuja. Unasimama peke yako. Ana judge kutokana na vile. Unanisikia watu wa Mungu. So when you don't entertain the heart of God, the fear of God itaondoka. Fear of Mungu ikiondoka, anakuwekea nini? Anakuwekea vikwazo, anakuwekea mitego na anajua mtego mmoja. Nitamswao. Akigeuka hivi ametoka ndani ya mwili wake. Na wazo kitoka ndani ya mwili, kiwa mchawi tu ndio yangu ndio kudi kwenye mwili. Maana kuna kuna system ambayo unaingia kwenye mwili na kutoka. Na ukiwa wa kiroho sana wakati mnaweza kuhubiri madhabahuni your spirit ikakupeleka kwa mtu fulani that's it zaidi ya hapo roho yako ikitoka ukiona umetoka kwenye mwili unjua ndio imetoka hiyo Jesus na unajua hayakuwa habari ya kumezwa na samaki kwa yona si unajua ni Mungu alieleta samaki kumeza yona It was God who brought the fish to swallow Jonah. There was a reason kulikuwa kuna sababu kwa nini Mungu ilibidi amuingize Yona ndani ya tumbo la samaki. Hikifika mahali ambapo tukamzahau Mungu, tukaanza kupishana na Mungu. Unajua Yona alikuwa anatumika na Mungu sana. Yona alikuwa anatumika na Mungu sana. Mungu alimtumia Yona kufanya mambo makubwa. Yona akafika mahali akamzoea Mungu. Mwanadamu ana asili ya kumzoea Mungu. Mwanadamu ana asili ya kumzoea Mungu. Ili Mungu aweze kuondoa mazoea, alimuingiza ndani ya samaki kwa siku ngapi? Na Yona alipotoka kwenye samaki, adabu ikarudi pale pale. Dori amelazwa hapa na angalia alivolazwa hapa. Kuna wengine it will take it will take itachukua kuwekwa kwenye meza ya operation kupasuliwa kitu hospitalini. Unafika mahali madaktari wanakuambia tunajaribu tu lakini hatuna uhakika wanakuambia makaratasi haya hapa hebu saini kwanza hata tukikosea au ikishindikana usirudi tu tumemalizana si ndio hivyo jamani una sign document una sign unakubalia ukilazwa pale ndipo unakumbuka unamhitaji Mungu ndipo unakumbuka nahitaji yale maombi niko nayakimbia ndio unaanza kusema nahitaji waniombe maana hapa nilipo siwezi kutoka hapa nilipo bila Mungu siwezi kusainika Mungu atusaidie jamani Mungu atusaidie hebu mpige Mungu makofi na dhiki la kila na pole nimalizie kitu cha mwisho very powerful and i heard the spirit of the living god is telling me something do you know when you lay yourself down for god and a mungu anakuwekea a new heart you have to surrender to god you have to tell god i give you my heart nitaishi kama vile upendavyo nitatembea na wewe unasikia duniani una sign huyu usiporudi katika ulimwengu wa kawaida lakini kikawaida katika mungu unatakiwa kumpa yesu maisha yako zamani nyumbani walikuwa nasema bwana huyo kuna mimi nasema baba na mama waweza kuniacha lakini yesu hawezi kuniacha na ndugu zangu waweza kuniacha lakini lakini yesu hawezi kuniacha nyimbo zao zilikuwa zina maana sana ndio walikuwa wa dance dance sana lakini the, the head the maana haleluya wangapi leo wanataka Mungu awape moyo mpya moyo hapo Mungu ataweza ku cooperate nao sio tu moyo wa kusikiza command za Mungu kwa sababu Mungu sio Mungu wa ku command command wakati mwingine anasema njooni tujadiliane njooni tusemezane Hallelujah. 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 Na ukipata umoyo mpya, 
ulinde moyo mpya kama na tumbaku na unaweza usivute tumbaku lakini around you wanavuta tumbaku wanasema asiyevuta akikaa ka, karibu na wanaovuta anaathirika vile vile yes. linda sana moyo wako biblia inasema kuliko vyote ulivindani haleluya alafu unajua ukiwa na moyo wa Mungu hauna haja sana ya kusikiza maneno ya watu kwa sababu moyo uliokuwa nao una vitu unakwambia haleluya sitaji sana marafiki wa watoto wangu waniambie sana mambo ya watoto wangu kwa sababu the way ni give myself to Jesus all the way ready to die for him i believe he will take care of my children na kama mtoto wangu atakuone danger yoyote he surely will tell me tunapoteza confidence kwa sababu kama moyo kwa zamani kana rudi lakini rudisha confidence yako ndani ya Mungu kwa sababu anakwenda kukupa moyo mpya haleluya pastor donis karibu tufunge ibada amen tutakwenda kuapa sala ya toba na kujikabidhi tena mbele za Bwana Baba yetu na Mungu wetu Ukatie mahali pa juu palipoinuka Tunajisogeza mbele zako asubuhi ya leo Kama vile ulivyosema nami Bwana kuhusu moyo mpya Ukaniambia kwamba ninabidi kujua kuta teini moyo mpya Kwa maana moyo wa zamani utanimeza Moyo wa zamani utanidanganya Moyo wa zamani utanirudisha kwa zamani Lakini nikipokea moyo mpya Moyo wangu kataini wa na wewe Biblia inasema ya kwamba Yesu alibadilisha maji kwa waini yale maji hayakuweza kurudi tena kwa Maji ya kawaida Basi baba asubuhi leo katika jina la Yesu Katuoshe na kutakasa kwa damu yako Tupatie moyo mpya kwa damu ya Yesu na kwa moto Katika jina la Yesu tupatie nguvu ya tena Tupatie moyo safi asubuhi ya leo tupatie mioyo mipya Bwana kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kushukuru Hebu tuombe maombi haya kufuatisha sauti maneno haya ni muhimu sana tuyafuatishe Hebu sema Bwana Yesu Bwana Yesu nakuja kwako nakuja kwako nimetenda dhambi nimetenda dhambi nimetenda dhambi nimetenda dhambi nimekuzoea nimekuzoea leo ninakuja kwako leo ninakuja kwako ninatubu dhambi zangu zote ninatubu dhambi zangu zote ninaomba msamaha ninaomba msamaha ninaomba msamaha ninaomba msamaha kwa kila dhambi kwa kila dhambi kwa kila kosa kwa kila kosa bila kujisahau bila kujisahau ninaomba leo ninaomba leo uingie ndani yangu tena uingie ndani yangu tena uingie ndani yangu tena uingie ndani yangu tena yesu yesu nisamehe nisamehe yesu yesu nitakase nitakase yesu yesu nisamehe nisamehe nioshe nioshe ninakutaka tena ninakutaka tena karibu moyoni mwangu karibu moyoni mwangu ukae ndani yangu ukae moyoni mwangu ukae moyoni mwangu ukae moyoni mwangu unifundishe unifundishe uniongoze uniongoze unijenge upya tena unijenge upya tena ni kwa jina la baba ni kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu na roho mtakatifu tuseme amen amen haleluya haleluya nilipokuwa naomba nilipewa instruction na Mungu so give me five minutes let me do what the Lord told me i believe he told me because i was not by myself hallelujah thank you jesus that is junior who need you there dory I will need you here. David, I will need you here. Zanavena will need you here. Thank you Jesus right here. Shina bonka tena bonsa. Ora da sai. Shora barina yango ruskatani. Shede musa. Yes God. Ando goria da basi. Korobo shanda na masa. Ina da barianda na boku santa. nikimaliza siku 40 ni lay hands on my own children first and there was a reason the 
was a time I fasted for 40 days, 46 days. Na mungu akaniambia ni lay hands on some of you. So when I finished to lay hands on my lip, on my blood, I will take care of you. There's a reason. Unajua mwanadamu wa juu yataishi muda gani? I might lay hands on them and then I might I might disappear. You never know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I fear God. I'm not the same noon like I used to be. I'm a new noon. Those days, we go on a noon over here. I'm already going on a fight to each other. This noon, when I'm going to be at this noon, you have to be this way. And this noon, and a seven no. But after fasting and pray, those two nunus, they've joined together. I fear no bad. Fear no evil. Jesus. Jesus. Ebra shana basa. Kobra ndara basa. Kerebo shara basa. Kabota basetesha. Rande katoshka porande. Zebra kondo robore mande debeskota. Zebra kuba sheke debeska. Rando rokoti kayanda basa. Receive the mantle of your mama, Shata. Randa Rabba Baba Sika Rabba Shaya. Holy Baba Basaya. The mantle of your grandpa, Shata. The mantle of your grandpa, Shala Bosaya. The mantle of your grandpa has a meaning to say that. The mantle of your father, Rabba Shana Masaya. Koraba Zina Rabba Damantoria Masaya. Generation to generation. I say generation to generation. Wisdom upon your life. Wisdom upon your life. Come on, put your hands up. Wisdom upon your life. I already give you wisdom. Shara wasata mukandi asai. Shabrando robosa hintana masai. Koriande nebeke teria musaka. Yekota mashara masai. Wisdom of your grandpa. Keremunde nebosaka rabashaya. Ara kot karande nebosa. Lose yourself.
tuombe sote tuombe sote tuombe katika jina la Yesu hebu tuombe pata sauti yako anza kuomba kwa jina watu hawa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Bye-bye. 